It is no state-of-the-art debugger. You can't even pause your scripts. What? We are forced to program old school. Our experience capped what? 30 frames per second on a 480 by 360 pixel stage. What? But these very restrictions force us to experiment, to think out of the box, to grow as developers as we become masters of all things Scratch. And let's not forget, what we lack in technology, we make up for in community. This fantastic bunch of budding software engineers, building, learning, creating, playing, remixing. As diverse a group of people as the very Scratch assets we now so skillfully attempt to ascend. The act of climbing, in the digital world or in the real world, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. When you start getting over it, you're standing next to a dead tree, which blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. You prod and poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and strength, trying to find a way up. When starting a new Scratch project, that initial blank slate is both refreshing and at times a little scary. Wouldn't it be great if we could travel forward in time and review our finished projects to see how well they turned out? I certainly wish we could. The real draw of coding, what gives it that special zing, is the challenge of accomplishing something you've never done before. At this point, you don't want to fall into the trap of rushing into creating loads of content, designing all the levels, the player costumes, all the easier stuff that can be perfected later. No, before all that, you need to prod and poke that tree. That is, understanding the coding difficulties you're expecting to face and try out any ideas to solve them. You may not be able to time travel, but at least this way you can get a good idea of how well your project is likely to go and potentially save yourself a lot of time. This project began life a couple of months ago as three simple scripts. The player, hammer and level. Finally. I spent no time on the art, just using Scratch 